Now if there's one thing a lot of us Street Fighter V players have in common, it is the hatred for the scum of the earth known as Guile. Come on. Now there can be many reasons why you hate Guile. It could be that the guy is just annoying as hell with the sonic booms, or you could just simply hate the way the guy looks. Whatever the case may be, the fact of the matter is that Guile is a sweaty piece of shit, and today I'm going to be talking about reasons why I, in particular, do not like the fuckboy known as Guile. The Sonic Boom, you know, that move alone is enough to make me fucking hate Guile, because it's just so annoying, like, he just throws it out of random, he throws it so fucking fast, and you gotta be hella fucking patient to even counter it, and me as a Street Fighter 5 player, you know, I'm not a patient fighter, like, I don't wanna fucking go in there and just start slamming people and fucking doing back kicks, you know, Street Fighter, you know, fighting. Now this would might seem a bit weird because yes the character is an asshole but what are the odds of the person playing the character also being an asshole? Well I'm here to tell you that yes the character is a fucking asshole. Look at this guy right here. You know he's teabagging me and him being a diamond teabagging a super silver like why? Like where is the logic in that? Like you're not it's he's acting like he's doing something special like bro you're you, you Probably have like 20 years played on this fucking game. I only have fucking one. And this motherfucker is like, oh, I'm a two back here because he beat a re round. Like, bro, I beat him around. Like, bro, he's whack in general because he lost to a super silver. He's like, I can't let this stain my record, so I gotta fucking kick his ass now. On this clip, this fucking guy, I have no respect for. Apparently, he's a fucking bronze, but he plays like he's a fucking. Like, he plays almost as good as me, me being a super silver. So basically, he's one of those fuckboys that just. Fake their their rank just to get easy and cheap wins. So I was taking it easy on him at first, and I was like, "Fuck this guy." Bro, I have more respect for a Fortnite, a little Fortnite player, than your fucking punk ass, bro. And at this point, I was like, "All right, cool. He has a win over me. Now I got a win over him. Let's have a trilogy." But nope, this fuckboy decides to fucking leave. Like, are you kidding me? Now, Guile's appearance, you know, I can't even hate, you know, Guile looks fucking cool. You know, the man is a real American, you know, Hulk Hogan type shit. You know, the guy has, uh, American tattoos tatted on his fucking arms. Like, that's fucking cool, man. You know, he has the Pauly D haircut, too. It's like, Guile looks fucking cool, man, and I can't hate on that, but... Him looking cool can't outweigh that the guy is a fucking dickhead in fucking online and ranked matches. Now, to conclude, I don't think my perspective on Guile will ever change. You know, he's such a cheap character, you know. If you use Guile, like, it takes very little skill. Like, I bet if I wanted to use Guile, and I was, like, a fuckboy, and I, like, just said, fuck it, I'm gonna use Guile, I bet I'd go up the ranks so fucking quick. But I'm not a little bitch, so I'm gonna use, like, fucking characters that are actually hard to use, you know. So, and there's so many annoying characters in Street Fighter, like, Honda and fucking, uh, what's his name? Akuma. And if you could top them, you gotta be really fucking annoying. And Guile takes the cake by like a long shot. And if you're thinking about playing Guile, bro, don't do it. Don't be a little cheap piece of shit. Like, th this game's already getting ruined. Like, don't fucking ruin it even more. <laughs>